Now, our next guest was a very big presence in the I'm a Celeb jungle this year, not only for taking on snakes, spiders and creepy crawlies, but also for taking on a TV chef and a politician. Uh, let's have a little look. Get yourself ready, Nella. We'll see what we try. There it is! There it is. Off you go, Nella. Oh, Nella. Seven, one, zero. There you go. You've done it. You've done it. OK, you've got this, Nels. You've got this. I cannot go on come with the numbers coming to Britain that are coming. Do you know why? You know I'm why? one of the numbers! Oh, right. You know what could be your dad? Like, you know my dad's dead. You're a weirdo. I am You're so a weirdo. sorry. You're, You're the real Kobe Bryant. Oh. Kobe! Let's go and have dinner. The next person to leave, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, in 2023, is... And in the end, there Nella. Oh, she had a time of it. She did, didn't she? We're joined now by Nella Rose, live from Australia. Morning, Hi, Nella. Nella. Good morning, guys. Nella, Hi. it's lovely to see you. Oh, lovely to see you guys too. How's everybody doing? We're all really Great. good, thank you. How have the last 48 hours been? You look much happier now <laughs> than you did three days oh, ago. Oh, my sister. I've had, I've had my Wagyu. I've had my Fanta with my, with my eyes. I'm living my best life and with my family. And I'm just, I'm living it up. <laughs> You're living it up over there. She's had a Fanta, she's happy. Nella, you have had a very yeah. memorable time in that jungle. First and foremost, we've got to talk to you about the trials because I think in total you did about 4,800 yeah. of them. Um, how were those trials for you? About 6,000, 2,000. Yeah. <laughs> how were they for you, babe? But, yeah, no, the trials were so scary. Like, obviously, seeing it on TV, you're thinking, yeah, I can do that, it's light work, and then... When you're actually put in those situations, you're thinking, shy, this is some crazy stuff. But um, some of them I found really hard. Some of them I just decided to go in there and face my fears, and I'm happy that I did them. It was definitely the things where you were confined, wasn't it? Like, you really struggled with those ones. Yeah. Because when, uh, I think uh, one of my favourite... Confined spaces, crazy. One of my favourite trials from this whole series was you in the dark room, oh. where you had to put your hand in the museum. boxes in the museum and you didn't know what was going to be there. Your reaction was absolutely sensational. It's OK, Nels. You <laughs> go for it, Nels. You faced worse. You've got, you've got to tell yourself that you can do it, man. <laughs> absolutely. Now, Nella, I need to talk to you, because obviously you had a chat with Ant and Deck when you came out of the jungle, but at that point you hadn't really seen yeah. any of the show. We want to talk to you about two men in particular. No. First up is a man who's probably only a few feet <laughs> yeah. away from you. That's Mr Fred himself. We're going to be chatting to him in a minute. But yeah, there was that moment. Here. He's just there. <laughs> there was that moment, wasn't there, with you and Fred. You had that heated argument about yeah. the dad chat. Have you managed to yeah. watch that back yet? Yeah. I haven't been able to watch anything back yet, but I know everything that's gone on. I know everything that's happened. And honestly, it was a big, fat misunderstanding. And we've, we've, we've gone over it. Me and Fred are cool. Everything is blessed. I don't know why everybody's still crying about it, but <laughs> I understand. It's TV. It's life. <laughs> it's a moment. But also, I think it's, the, it's probably the, the, the situation and the scenario that you're in as well, isn't it? You know, you're in a confined space, yeah, really, so with a lot of the, people you jungle, don't know everything and little things can you. Pardon? You're in a confined space with lots of people you don't know and little things can trigger you. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, obviously that subject is very triggering for me because it's kind of like a fresh wound. But obviously, being inside of the jungle, all events are intensified. Yeah. It's just, it is what it is. Well, talking of intensifying, I mean, you turn up the dial on the drama when you made the camp chef, not the camp <laughs> chef anymore. <laughs> I mean, in the jungle, the little bits of drama that happens is honestly your EastEnders. It's honestly <laughs> your little bits of entertainment. If there's any way I could have stirred the pot just to make things fun, it's just, it's just who I am. And who knew stirring <laughs> the pot would be the drama? Literally. I know. Stirring the pot. Um, and I, I, as Rylan said, we know he's very close um, in proximity to you at the minute, but I love the fact that you switched yeah. it up and you took Fred off cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> we really loved it. We really loved it, Nella. <laughs> literally, literally that. Um, Nella, now that you're out, obviously, you're, you've, you're away from the rest of your camp mates. It seems like you did make some genuine mates in there. I'm not going to say it, but it seemed like you were very much 100%. a fan of uh, Mr Marvin in there. Yes. So I love Marvin, Sam, Tony, Josie, Daniel, Nick, everybody in there. Honestly, friends for life. I will never forget the experience. I've really, really created some real bonds in there that I will never forget. Um, will you forget Nigel Farage? Uh, no, absolutely <laughs> not. I feel like we had some really interesting conversations in there that needed to be had. And yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Would you, I mean, you and Nigel, you obviously share very different views on, on, on certain subjects. But yeah. for someone like you, when, yeah. when you had that conversation with Nigel, I, I was quite pleased to hear you say, listen, you've got your view, I've got my view, we're going to have to live in this camp together. Coming out now on the other side, would you sit Definitely. there and say that that's broadened your eyes and, and maybe your mind a bit more to sit there and go, you've got a different opinion to me, you have that, I'll have this? Yeah, I mean, I feel like in life it's, it's good to hear different people's opinions. I feel like me and Nigel come from two different classes, mm. two different walks of life. He has his opinions, I have my opinions. We can share our opinions and agree to disagree at the end of the day. No one gets hurt, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, all in all, Nella, would you say that you enjoyed the experience? One thousand percent. I feel like I really pushed myself to the limits, like the confined spaces, spiders, snakes. I can't believe I was in that proximity to snakes. So, yeah, sound like I can tell my kids I did. Your mama was in the coffin with a snake. Yeah, <laughs> talk to me nice. <laughs> so, yeah, it's an experience that I do not regret whatsoever. No regrets from Nella. And listen, you've done it. You've enjoyed it. No Looking regrets. back, is there anything you would change? Would you act any differently when it came down to anything in there? Or is it, no, this is what I did and I had the best I, time? I don't think... No, I don't think there's anything that I would change because, honestly, with me, what you see is what you get. And I'll always stay true to myself. I'm just Nella at the end of the day. I'm like Marmite. If you love me or you hate me. <laughs> well, Nella, you're a memorable <laughs> camp mate. It's been lovely chatting to you. Thank you, babe. Thank you, Nella. Thank you. Bye, guys. She's, Bye. Going, she's going for Fanta now, isn't she? she? That's she exactly is. what she's doing. Uh, well, that's not all from Australia today. We're also joined by the third camp mate Double to get trouble. the boot from the jungle, Fred Styriex, before we chat to him. Let's have a look at his best bits. Oh. Jungle living, living in, in a jungle. jungle. Get down. Everybody also, there's the food is getting ready. That looks amazing. What's important for me is integrity and speaking the truth. So what's the benefit of Brexit then? And I remember your poster. I thought it wow. was shameful what you did, Nigel. You've really created a big mess, Nigel. I could be your dad. Don't bring up my dead parent. Are you stupid? Well, I'm sorry I've offended you. Sorry, Josie, you're oh. making a stop, yeah? Yeah. Josie, they're not going to cook at the same speed, yeah? Jalal says. I'm going to go. I want to go because I want to go and do my best to bring the star. Off you go. Well, we had a memorable time in there as well, and it's time to chat to him. It's your latest evict. It's Fred, everyone. Morning, Fred. Good morning. How are you? We're very well, thanks, Fred. Now, Fred, you have had a bit of a time in that camp. First and foremost, what on earth possessed you to go into the jungle in the first place? Well, it was a test. It was a challenge. And, you know, it's something that I wanted to do for a while. And I just thought, you know, what, what is it going to be like in there? And I had to try it. But, you know, when I found that I was going in the jungle, I had nightmares for three months, you know, dreaming about yeah. bugs. I was waking up. I could see them on my pillow. And uh, this is how I, I, I prepared. And then I thought, what, what else am I going to do? So I prepared. I trained for six months, a grueling training to be ready. Because in the jungle, you know, what people don't see on television it's a very big camp. So, for example, if you want to go and get the wood or the, water, or the water, you have to go all the way down and then you have to go all the way up. But because you don't eat anything, it's just rice and beans, you know, you need the calories and you need the energy. And by the end of the day, you know, you are walking so slowly, it's really difficult. 
Fred, I'm going to have to say you've really put your foot in it here because I'm with the what. Willis and you've just admitted that you've known for a while you're going Fred, in. Fred, I was with you three weeks before you went into that jungle and you didn't tell me a thing. OK, Emma, I have to, to tell you, I was told categorically you mustn't tell a soul. And I didn't tell a soul because, you know, if you tell me something, you can trust me, I'm reliable. And ITV and the people that I signed the contract with said you cannot tell anybody. And I didn't tell anybody but my family, fruitcake, the children, yeah. that's all. And I couldn't do it, you know, and, and I'm sorry, Emma. I know we're going to talk about it in January when we are in Thailand, you know, in Phuket <laughs> filming the... Uh, uh, the final of the World Cook, but um, I just couldn't tell you. I am so sorry, Emma. And you know what? Then the list of the names was leaked, and I couldn't believe it. I don't know who leaked it, but it definitely wasn't me. Maybe it was the people who were telling me not to tell the world. <laughs> well, at least you know it wasn't me, because I didn't have a clue. <laughs> no but clue. now I know why you were training in your pants outside my room last time I saw you. In my pants. No, yeah. I was just getting changed. No, no. I don't know what goes on it in was... Thailand, stays no. in Thailand. <laughs> Leave no, it at that he one. He was doing a little workout outside of his room and I went outside my room and I could hear him. Well, it's a good plug yeah. for the show, I'll tell you um, that. Fred, let's talk, about, let's talk about the situation that happened with Nella. I know, obviously, she's just been on and you've just heard her speaking as well. But how was it for you? How did you find that whole situation? Look, for me, it's, it's just a misunderstanding. You know, you're in the jungle. It's like a pressure cooker, you know, and, and it's just the way it is. But what I, what I, all I will say is that I was very surprised of the hate for Nella when I came out. I think it's, it's, it, it's totally wrong. Uh, it's unfair and, you know, not in my name. So, you know, today I did a couple of interviews with journalists and I said, this is not fair. And that's all I will say on that, on that topic. You know, Nella is a lovely girl. And, uh, you know, things happen, you move on and... You know, I mean, I, I don't know what, what is all this fuss about, to be honest with you. Well, I think that's a very gentlemanly thing to say, Fred. Absolutely. He is a gentleman. He's a gen. He, he is, is a, a gen. Gentleman. However, Fred, I've got to be honest with you. We know you're a good cook, and I don't want to bring up the beef or kangaroo, shall we say, but you and our Josie, what was going on there? You were like Hawkeye. <coughs> Look, in all <laughs> fairness, the meals that uh, Josie cooked were good. They were good to very good. You know, she could cook the meal on the day. What I was concerned with is how she was able to use and recycle the bones and other vegetables and, and other pills in order to prepare a stock so that we could improve the day after. Um, and that's it. But this morning, I spoke to my mom. She called me because she knew I was out. And she said to me, Frédéric, you know why she calls me Frédéric? It's because she's upset. <laughs> Frédéric, what did you do with Josie? Why were you standing on the top there and telling her what to do? What was going through your mind? I got a telling off from my mom. I said, Mom, it's because, Frédéric, I don't want to listen to you. This is unacceptable. You can't do that. And I don't want you to do it again today. I said, Mom, I am not in... What do you mean? She didn't understand that I was not in a jungle, that I was out, that it's a game, and that uh, because of the way everything is edited, you know, and everything, the story is told, then I'm out of the story. And uh, I had to explain to her, I said, Frédéric, if you do that again, I said, Mom, I'm not in the jungle, so I'm not going to do it. Frédéric, do not do it again. I said, Mom, I promise you, I'm not going to do it again. Next time Josie is cooking, I will sit down and say nothing. That's good, Frédéric. But if you do it again, <laughs> I am going to be very upset with you. She was mad. And I have to say to her, look, Mom, I'm not going to do it again. Um, Fred, I've what got to I ask, say? what was it like to be reunited with Fruitcake? Oh, my God. That was the best thing. You know, and, and I walked uh, on the bridge very slowly because I wanted to enjoy that experience of going through the bridge to go and embrace her and give her a hug and give her a kiss because I was just longing for that. And this morning I woke up, I was so tired, I was angry. It was, it was a difficult morning this morning. And just to embrace her and kiss her and just tell her I love you, and she told me the same, you know, it was just the most beautiful thing. But, you know, uh, my experience in the jungle was a bliss. You know, my, my goal, my mission in there was to glide inside my head from the beginning to the end and, and, and to just have an experience. And it's the first time in my life that I was able to be inside myself, with myself, and just worry about myself. 
And I just surprised myself, just enjoying the moment, living in the moment, and just enjoying what was in front of me in the present. I have never, ever done that. I mean, Emma, you know me. We work together. I'm 24-7, 365. I'm very intense. But in there, I was the most relaxed I have ever been. And, and you know, what I take out is the calm, the peace, the serenity of the jungle. And I haven't even had time to think about that because I've come out and today was interviews and pictures and lots of things. This interview, for example, it's 8.30 in the evening. And I want to just find a piece of time when I, when I come back home to just sit down and think of how I'm going to be able to take some of the jungle inside my life yeah. and just implement little changes to just, to just make the incremental changes I need to make in order to take more peace and serenity in my life. Because, you know, I'm 51 and I'm closer to 70 than I am to 20 years old. So I have, to, I have lived the life I've lived all this time. And now I want to make just some small changes to just make it to the next 20 years in, in just that, 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 that different way that I've done, just so that I can enjoy time more. Because, you know, life goes so fast. You know, I was in the jungle four weeks ago, three weeks ago I entered, and I'm already out. You're and out, very soon it's going to be Christmas, so I need to slow down the time. Fred, it's so good it's a pleasure, that you're Fred. taking anyway, positives I'm talking from this. too much. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm talking life. so much. We're going to crack yeah. the whiteboard yeah. in a minute, Fred. Like, like, wrap him up. But if you know anything about Fred, is that he loves to chat. Well done, but Fred. But we love you, Fred. Well done, mate. We'll see you soon.